Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you an example of the geometric mean and why we use the geometric mean with resonance frequency and the cutoff frequency. So we learned that omega node, the resonance frequency, is basically uh, the square root of, or the geometric mean of uh, the cut, the two cutoff frequencies of, for example, a band bus filter, like W1 multiplied by WC2 under, you know, the square root. But why is that? And uh, the answer will be very clear when we look at, you know, uh, basically an example like the example here in which we draw like the transfer function of, uh, uh, of for example, a current versus frequency. So we have here two scales. We have logarithmic, scale in the x-axis and we have linear scale in the y-axis and to deal with each one we should deal differently I'm going to show you why for example if I want the middle point between the 20 and the 60 in the y-axis, which is 40, of course. We have here to use the arithmetic mean, the average, because 20 plus 40 divided by 2 equal to 60 divided by, uh, I'm sorry, 20 plus 60 divided by 2 is 80. 80 divided by 2 is 40. And yes, it is 40. Let's assume you are you want the middle point between the 80 and the 40, which is 60. So 80 plus 40 divided by 2, the arithmetic mean again is 120 divided by 2, which is 60. And of course, you can apply that to the unknown points, like the point here, we don't know between 60 and 80. It's not written yet, it's 70. I know it's easy. But how to calculate this efficiently? If you don't know it, just have the arithmetic mean between the point before and the point after. So 60 plus 80 divided by uh, 2. That's basically 140 uh, divided by 2. It is 70. Yes, the middle point between 60 and 80 is 70. But the story is much different when we deal with the x-axis in here. With the x axis, that's a logarithmic scale. So we cannot use arithmetic mean anymore. We have to use the geometric mean. And let's have an example for that. Let's see what is the uh, middle point between 250k and 1 mega. 1 mega, of course, it's 1000 kHz. Both are the same. Okay? 1 megahertz is 1000 kilohertz. The middle point, of course, is clear here. It's 500k hertz. Okay, but let's calculate that once with a geometric mean and once with uh, arithmetic mean. So let's use the arithmetic mean, the one that we all know. So 1 million or 1,000 plus 250 divided by 2. That's basically uh, uh, will be uh, 1. 250 divided by 2, that's uh, 625. Of course, that's wrong. Okay, that's wrong. Because that's a logarithmic scale. So we have to use the geometric mean. So the middle point is actually the multiplication is 1000 of 1000 kilo and 250 under the square root. That's basically, you can write this in this way. 2, 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 4. 2, 5 squared is 5. Uh, 10 to the power 4 is 100. So that's basically 500k. And of course, you can apply that as well to any middle point that's unknown. Okay? And that's why we use the geometric mean. Okay? That's why we use the geometric mean. Because it's the one that will give us you know, is the correct answer. But why is that? Why with the arithmetic scale, 
we use or the y scale we use arithmetic mean while with the logarithmic scale we have to use the geometric mean that goes back to the uh, origin of that okay so the y axis is goes as follows we can write the text as follows 0 20 40 60 and so on and each time we add some step here we add 20 add another 20 you get 40 and so on that's called arithmetic series in mathematics and for arithmetic series we use arithmetic mean like 0 plus 40 divided by 2 will give you 20 which is the point between 0 and 40 20 plus 60 over 2 will give you 80 over 2 which is 40 and so on but for the x-axis it's not arithmetic series let's write it 0 25 uh, uh, 250k 500k, 1000k, you know, and so on, 2000k, and so on. Each time we multiply, so this should be one, I'm sorry, yeah, this should be one, 125. So that's basically here, 125. That's not zero. There's a mistake here. So that's 125. So each time we multiply by two, Multiply again by 2, multiply again by 2, will give you 1,000, and so on. Okay? That's called geometric series. And in geometric series, when we get, when we try to get a middle point between two points, we have to use the geometric mean. Like, for example, again, uh, 125 multiplied by 500, under the square root, that will give us 25, 200, uh, 250, okay? So that's why we use the geometric uh, mean here, because it's a geometric series. So with arithmetic sequences, we use arithmetic mean, the average that we all know. But for geometric sequences or geometric series, we use the geometric mean. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in another video. Bye-bye.